Craig, thanks for joining us again. Second season, second time opening the opening the show with us again for the second season running. This is great. I love I love this subject because I feel like this is just what everyone has been talking about over Twitter, just sporadically. Anytime kits come out or released, it just sparks so much debate. Um, so what Finn has done has put together he's put together a lovely uh, keynotes spreadsheet style presentation <laughs> of all the kits that we want to talk about. So Finn, do us the honours, let us see them and let's talk through the weird and wonderful kits we're going to be seeing this season, please. Absolutely. Um delighted to do this. Just before I jump in, I just want to apologise for having to record this in my car just because of the time <laughs> of day that we're recording that. Um, it's not, not the best use of the video format, but I have got some light bars here insert like so saber noise here, here so try, trying to make a bit of an effort but it's still there's no getting around it i'm in my car so let's 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 get away from this visual and get on to the proper stuff righty ho exciting times the 23 24 <laughs> scottish football kits the good the bad and the absolutely fucking hideous because let's face it we've got a smorgasbord of good and dreadful stuff to make our way through <laughs> and i'm probably but... going to disagree on everything that you're going to say <laughs> you know, i don't think anyone ever agrees with me on kits probably we'll start at the top of the the tree alphabetically in the top division so having a quick look at the 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 cinch premiership let's start with aberdeen now what are our feelings on this, Craig? Have you got any detail for us on either of these kits? Okay, so look, as far as I'm aware, I think there is, is it a centenary, the home shirt? And I think the gold is a nod to previous colours before they use red. I think they were black and gold stripes, so that's where the gold comes from. Um, and then, obviously, it's a Northern Lights reference to the away shirt. So the the home shirt is it's Adidas. It's red with like a kind of like gold trim, just for anybody who's listening to this rather than watching. Um, it's pretty basic, but quite smart. Like, what are our thoughts on this? Uh, for me, it's, it's all about the away kit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the gold because it, with when you complement gold with red, it's um, quite kind of vanilla kind of shade. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, it's not quite punchy white to me. Um, not a huge fan of that, but when it comes to the away, this is gorgeous. I love this. Um, I cool, love the kind it? of thoughts behind <laughs> it. I love the kind of sentiment of they've gone for this Northern Lights approach. It is this sort of pink and black and the sort of greeny, the glow that you get from the Northern Lights up in Aberdeen. And they've just got this streaking across the front of the kit. Absolutely delicious. Huge fan. Massive tick in the away box for me. I was in Disney World last week and I saw two people wearing this separately. No way. So it's popular already, you know. <laughs> it's got That's that feel of being quite an iconic kit. Uh, I mean, Absolutely. I, I, as we all know, the 90s was the best period for football kits ever. And Aberdeen had some great away kits in that. I remember the, um, was it the North Sound away kit? Maybe Ooh, 94, yeah. 95. That was like a dark navy, but it had gold and red and things through it. Really nice. Yeah. There's a, this, this feels like a contemporary version of that with the color scheme and everything but yeah it's a banger um so i, I think consensus is we're, we're kind of big fans of this especially the way shirt maybe moving on to a club that's not had as good run out but still staying with adidas <laughs> let's oh, move dear. on to the the current <laughs> champion celtic um yeah craig, oh. craig can you talk us through this <laughs> uh, well i mean it, it's just a mess isn't it they I, th I think what's happened here, so I think all three shirts are bad for individual reasons, like yeah. for the, you know, the away shirt and the third shirt, they're both very garish designs. The, the away, the, the away shirt itself, all black. I think it's just quite a boring design considering what we've got from Adidas the last couple of years has been really high quality. What yeah. I do think, and I've, you may have seen the kind of leaks on Twitter and stuff. Adidas is supposed to be releasing some kind of, special edition centenary i'm not sure what it is shirt that is very much kind of plain green and white hoops so my mm -hmm. thoughts are that the designers have gone a bit crazy with these on the basis that they're going to release something more classic for the fans later but at the moment mm -hmm. that's just a rumor so who knows see this home top can we just break it down okay mm. this i feel like every time you look at this at a different angle you find something more horrific than the last time you looked at <laughs> I th there's no redeeming features to this top the no. the black the fact they've gone so that the, the hoops themselves have a pattern in them now they claim it is an ode to the stained glass that used to be outside the front of Celtic Park which is now inside the main doorway 
that is what they claim it is. I think everyone online, the consensus is it's a snakeskin style pattern yeah. in the hoops. Well, I'd heard um, it as a tribute to uh, Brendan Rogers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the hoops alone are a disaster to start with. The black Adidas stripes, I just, I don't get it. I, I, why would you take away the, the classic white look, the white works? I don't get why you'd go for such a garish black against that shade of green. You yeah. could maybe have got away with the collar and the, the sleeves rim being black, maybe, but it, I just don't think it works. And it, the more kind of closer you look at the detail, the worse it gets. I think the kind of hoop is broken under the arm as well. You yeah, can't take the yeah. photo that Finn's put up, but it's just, yeah. it's an utter car crash of a strip. The logo too. So why was it on the the away shirt and the third shirt, the logo is all one colour and on the home shirt we've got this mm-hmm. extra yellow as well. Like why not just make it all black? I don't understand yeah. the design behind that. Yeah, that's, that's awful. Just, the, the, it, it just feels like a bit of a mess all around. Like exactly what you're saying, Laura. The um it to me it either looks like yeah, snakeskin pattern or like rubble. Like it looks like rocks. It, yeah. it, there's nothing about it that immediately <laughs> says stained glass. And I think the thing is like, because obviously if you've got a, a, a strip like Celtics, which is iconic because of the pattern that's on it, there's only so many variations you can go with hoops, but it doesn't mean that you can't play around with like embossing or patterns. And again, to go back in my 90s football shirt, High Horse, some of the Celtic kits from like that mid 90s period were absolutely brilliant because, you know, you had like the ones with the umbral logo embossed mm. within the green hoops and it, it looked fantastic like it was so iconic um mm. but keeping with the tradition of unbroken hoops very simple pattern you can go a slightly lighter green green slightly darker green but this is just it feels like it feels on all levels mm. the, the third kit is a strange one because they've said it is an ode to the music scene in glasgow <laughs> Uh, but I think it looks more like a <laughs> fingerprint that like you would give in a police station. <laughs> so, I don't really get the thinking behind that one. Um, I, yeah, I, there's there's just there's so many question marks over the third kit. I don't even know where to begin with it. This the the, the way kit though, the black one. I actually think it's really smart. Um, I really really like okay. black kits in general, and I think they have just kept it really simple, which I think is probably the safest thing to do when you've got two horrific <laughs> kits on either side. Um, yeah. I, I like how they've, they've just went plain sailing, kept it safe. It is it's smart. I like the collar as well with a little button on it. Um, yeah, the the away kit is a winner for me, especially when you look at it compared to the other two. <laughs> I think that's fair. Although I think it's it to me, it just looks slightly like a glorified polo shirt with the badges yeah. on it. Um, yeah. It's not particularly enticing. And again, you know, Celtic classically kind of um, alternate between a black away kit or, or a very bright away kit. Um, mm-hmm. And they've had, again, some cracking like black kits uh, in the past, but you know, this, this isn't going to be remembered hugely fondly, I, w- I wouldn't have thought. Um, moving on down the, the SPFL, the boys are back in time from Dundee. Um I mean, we're not going to go in massive detail through every single team. I think it's a fairly, it, it's nice, it's decent. It's just kind of like a very, it's, it's a navy, um, dark navy shirt with gold detailing, a tartan trim. I think what we really need to talk about is the away kit here, um, particularly mm-hmm. for something that went viral on Scottish football Twitter around the um, some of the detailing that's on the inside of the away kit collar. Finn, you've got um, your your dad's a Dundee fan. Can you? Um, I don't know if that means he's got Dundee roots, but can you pronounce that? I'd, oh, it's my yeah, my grand no, my granddad's uh, from Dundee and a, a lifelong Dundee fan. So it's it's meant to be a place. So what, for those that haven't seen it, basically it's got phonetically spelled on the inside in gold detailing of the away kit, D till E. De, which is supposed to be Dundee till I die, uh, but in the the phonetic parlance of the Dundee accent, which is D till I die, um, <laughs> which when when you say it like that, it just kind of sounds like um, the Dundee version of I'm blue dabba dee dabba da. <laughs> 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 very yeah. good very yeah. good no, the, I, uh, the home shirt sorry the, the home shirt was on display at the V&A in Dundee so the tartan, there's oh, a tartan nice. exhibit and the home shirt was released in April I think this year um, and the tartan is part of a like I think it might even be a Dundee FC tartan so I think there's like a little little nod to that there yeah I think it's smart 
I actually think both mm, kits smart. are a winner here. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of mm. both. I I quite like the fact they've got this in the back of their strip, um, this saying, because it's something that's just, it's a bit personal to them. It's tapping right into the fans, the dialect. Why not? I don't really see why you wouldn't do that. Why it kind of got a wee bit of stick from everyone. Is it authentic then? Is that how it should sound? I'm like, I'm here as the plastic jock. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just just so I, understand, <laughs> so I understand, it definitely is, definitely is authentic. It, it is, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It's, it, I, I, yeah, I think it's quite a sweet touch. It's not. Um, I, I think it just kind of got ribbed by uh, by other Scottish football fans. There was a lot of the the Limmy meme. Oh, that accent going around okay. and things like that. <laughs> but right, I, right. it's 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 quite a nice wee touch. Um, moving on now to the capital, the first of two capital teams. We've got Hearts. Um, I I would say a fairly boring home kit. It's just it's, yeah. it's, it's a Extremely it's a maroon tap. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Really the, the, way, the way kit. <laughs> The away kit's like a kind of shocking pink colour, which I I don't, I'm, I, don't, I don't think, I mean, pink kits are I, quite in vogue as well, but I don't I know what you guys a feel big about this fan. one. I'm a big fan of pink kits, uh, particularly hot pink in shade. This one I think I need to see on a pitch. I'm not entirely sold right mm-hmm. now. It is, it is all pink and it is just little um, par- patches, literally patches. I don't even know how to describe that pattern um, that are darker pink than the rest of the strip along with the sleeves as well. It's kind of like if you're running a stamp over something and you're kind of losing ink as you go, so it's only kind of blotches, <laughs> get a wee bit darker than the others. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I need yeah. to see this on a pitch. I'm not sold right now on that one. <laughs> Third one, though. Mm, well, I think this rescues it a little bit, doesn't it? We're all kind of a bit underwhelmed, and this third one came out today as we're recording. It looks pretty special, doesn't it? So what, what is this that. one, Craig, the one that's just been released today? So, yeah, we read a bit today. We were talking off air, weren't we? So this is for the 150th anniversary of the club. Um, I think it's based on the first shirt that they wore as well. So I don't think there's any detailed looks at how the badge is at the moment as well, but it looks like some kind of different rendering of it, which looks interesting too. But effectively, for listeners, obviously, it's plain white with a larger kind of heart melodian badge. It looks like the sponsor and the Umbro logo has been kind of whited out and you've got like a claret trim as well around the cuff, which I think it looks really smart. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this one, and I kind of I, hopefully it gets more of a run out than the Scotland 150th, which had similar vibes of like you know an an embossed badge with an older look. Um, yeah, I hope this gets mm. a good run out. It's a cracking looking kit, a real collector's mm. item. This one across the city. How are we feeling about Bevy.com on the front of Hibs jumper? <laughs> oh, I love these both of them. I think they're excellent. I think they're brilliant. I really like the use of the QR code as well on the Bevy sponsor as well on the home show i just think it's really cool <laughs> really innovative oh that's interesting i hadn't noticed that so it is yeah. incorporated into their logo yeah in inside the the wavy bit yeah when you get a like a, a zoom in on it i actually thought bevy was across both shirts i hadn't seen it with utilita but yeah it's really yeah, cool wh- why have they got different sponsors and what's the deal there that's quite unusual no, i don't know i don't know i have to look into that i'm not sure maybe yeah but i mean I... i think both i think joe sorry go on no, no, I'm just going to say, I, I feel like I'm not a fan of Joma kits. Um, they feel quite, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of like kiddie version of the kind of like um, manufacturer. They seem very basic and almost like they've not put a lot of money into it. That's kind of, it looks quite cheap and Ooh. lazy. Um yeah, the whole money special I, I, I feels like know, it's I, a design you'd make on like FIFA, in, like in two thousand five or something. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I think they've gone quite. It, it feels quite classical, and I think they've done it quite nicely. It's obviously a nod to slightly older kits. Um, I I I, I with Craig on this one. I think both kits are pretty smart, especially the away kit's great because it, it feels like it's a nod to. Would it be an early nineties away kit, like kind of the ninety two to ninety four kit? feels like it was um it was it was a wee bit like that the uh, there's something about hibs in a purple away kit that just feels right as well yeah Yeah, i just i I love whenever hibs go for the for the for the dark purple i think it suits them a lot Mm. um killy feels like much of a muchness so they're killy are sticking with hummel um for 
for their for their kits this season. It's the third in the goalkeeper tops that we need to have a chat about because they're garish. Like these look like wow. carpet off cuts for the third kit, and um, like you know, like you know, like um, you know that way when you get on like uh, the, the the bus late at night, and you're like, what pattern is that on the bus seat? That's what the Kelly third yeah. top looks like this year. I I kind of expect it to come pre-stained with chewing gum stuck to it, like a bus seat would. <laughs> No, I, the, the the third kit for me um, makes me think of, is it Brentford's away kit from last season? was quite similar where it was kind of dotted around little colourful specks yeah. over the, the strip. This one's quite similar. This one reminds me of, um, me and Finn have got a friend uh, called Sandy and he's proper hipster and he wears the brightest coloured <laughs> jackets, tops, trainers of any colour that clashes something awful but he manages to pull it off and look good and this kind of makes me think of this, I think it somehow works even though it's a bit of a car crash the goalkeeper mm. top though, I love this um, this is sort of um, not quite di- di- tie-dye um, but it's like um, almost like the, in fact you know what it is it's like, more like a pattern of like oil so if you put maybe a little bit of colour dye into oil, um, the pattern looks mm-hmm. like that. If it was kind of in liquid, I'm a big fan of the goalie top. Lovely stuff. I think it's minging. I think it's dreadful. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> Love that. I did, the only reason I put it in is because most of the goalie tops, to be honest, are not worth putting in because they're just this bog standard pink orange yellow or green it's just like anything that's a different color but kelly have gone for it and there's another club in the championship that we'll come to in, in a wee minute who have got oh, very yeah. flamboyant <laughs> goalkeeper kits but other than that it was more just because it was different but I, th- I think it's disgusting anyway livy <laughs> much of a muchness i mean you were talking about joma kits earlier on laura they're they're it's all right it's nice it's 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 livy colors it's a gold top with a bit of black detailing like fine i'm a big fan of the home top actually I really like it. Okay. Really? It's, yeah, I think I think the collar's a wee bit thick. Um, the black collar's quite mm. thick um, and quite dominating. But it is a very simple, that yellow gold shade. And it's got the, the streaks of black over one shoulder and streaks of black coming up from one um, hip. And it's like kind of running ink almost. And it's not too much. I think it is just enough to make it quite classy. Mm. I mean, for me, that's a FIFA kit, like you were saying earlier. For me, that's just, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't do it for me at all, at all, this one. Nah. All right, moving on then to The Well, your old stomping ground, Laura. Um, Going to talk us through this. <laughs> <laughs> um, home top, I think, is really smart. Really, really big fan of this. I'd, I'd quite like to see the material up close because it looks almost quite mm. a, like, Lego yeah. bot block stretchy. Um, and I'm not yeah. sure if it is like that or not. But in terms of how it looks, love the collar. The, the, yeah, the, the, the G4 claims bit is quite big uh, and quite overpowering. Yeah. I feel like that should have been a wee bit smaller within the band. Um, no, big fan of the home kit. And it's nice that um, they, 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 went, they did Claret last year as a predominant colour. And that was harping back to like, whatever it was, 30 year anniversary, whatever the number was. But this one, they went back to the classic amber predominant colour in the home kit. Away, I'm not much of a fan. <laughs> It's not doing it for me. Yeah. For me, this sash should go the other way as well, like the river plate. It just looks weird going that particular way. I don't know why. Now, Craig, um, I'd be interested to get your take because you're, odd, you know, you're, you're, you're team Celtic. Um, but what, what are your thoughts on the Rangers kits for this season? I think it's really tough to swallow these because these are all really, really nice. And we've got three awful shirts, as we've discussed. <laughs> I think these are all absolutely fantastic. The, the one thing I will say is that the jewelry's still out on Castor in terms of the quality, I believe. Never had any of their shirts, but I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter about them ripping and not washing very well. But design-wise, I think they've got it right for all three of these. And I think that third shirt is unbelievable. I love it. For me, they get better progressively as it goes from left to right here. So the home kit, decent, it's fine, it's blue. Not a massive fan of the red collar. The away kit, I really like, but this third kit, I think, again, to go back to the 90s, this is a direct ripoff, basically, of the 93-94 away kit, which Mm -hmm. is hugely popular among the fan base. It just Mm. looked cool because it was so different at the time when that came out. Rangers had never had an away kit like that. It was always just an inversion of the home kit, so the white top or whatever. Um, So it was something completely different. And also, there's something about the centralised logo that I really like on the kit. I don't know why, but it just seems to work. 
but I think it's really smart. So I'm I'm looking forward to to seeing that one in action this season. Yeah, the first two from you, absolutely fine. Home and away. The third kit, I've seen people compare it to the B and M logo. Uh, being here, was it? <laughs> I've also seen people compare it to the guards that stand outside the Vatican. Yep, Swiss guard. <laughs> yeah, um, it's quite garish. Um, I, again, I think this is one I need to see on the pitch to make my mind up completely. Ross County, much of a muchness, to be honest. The the, the away kit's like a kind of like maroon colour that it looks like somebody's left a paint lo- roller wrapped up in and some of the white... Exactly, yeah. yeah. That <laughs> or some seagulls have been flying around the, the kit's line a bit yeah. because that's just what is going on there. <laughs> Why the black logo as well? It doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, it's just it's peculiar. Not, it's not yeah. <laughs> Home one's fine. Home one's just very, very standard classic yeah. Ross County top. There's not, there's nothing offensive mm-hmm. there or controversial in the slightest. Going down to Perth, um, it, it, is there anything you like about these ones, Craig? The home or the away top? I think they're quite smart. Not really, Finn. To be honest, <laughs> I think like the, the away shirt looks like a kind of rip-off lead shirt from the nineties, and yeah, I, I like Macron a lot, but I, I just think these are a bit generic, to be honest. I think because the home kit's supposed to be a nod to, uh, I think, the, one of the kits from the early 80s. I, I don't mind the pinstripe. Okay. I think it's quite smart. Wow. But I don't know. I, I think I, I had this, I I think like I had this one last year with like Aberdeen and uh, a lot of clubs in pinstripes. I'm just not mm. a fan of pinstripes. The way kit, the way kit's nice. It's like, got that sort of Livy uh, paint streak look to it, top and bottom in obviously different mm. colours. But yeah, no, I'm a fan of the way top. I think the Leeds, the Leeds comment's a fair shout. From Craig, definitely. Mm. Um, moving on to the final club in the, the Premiership, though, I think St Mirren have got both of these bang on, by the way. Yeah. Interested to hear your takes. Absolutely. Like, both of them bang on. Um, if I was going to be like really, really particular about it, the, the pattern in the black, I'm not huge on. <sighs> I like um, but it's pattern. such I think a that's smart. classic. It's classic. It's everything's right about it. It's just classic St. Mirren and the away top. Hot pink and black together is just yes, please. Lionel Messi into Miami, isn't it? Oh, I was thinking it more is. Scotland 2017. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 V- very much two sides of the same coin here, guys. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of, I, I agree with you. Um, but speaking of a, a, a nice hot pink top, let's move on to some highlights from the championship. We're not going to go through every team, but starting at Air United, Laura, just talk yeah. us through the Air United kits for this season because I think <laughs> these are potentially up there for the two best like combined home and away kits in the whole SPFL. The home one is um, interesting. Um, mm-hmm. So the home one mm-hmm. is white body with black sleeves and the sleeves have white bands around them and uh, the, the body itself has this pattern, a black and white pattern that almost looks like a tyre has run over it, over in not just one <laughs> tyre mark, but in several little spots. Kind of like what I was saying earlier, but the highlighter, um, the stamp running out of ink, kind of like a tyre, if it ran over a few times, but ra- was running out of its ink. Um, home top, <laughs> not so much of a fan. A way top, though, is absolutely beautiful. Again, anything that's hot pink and black on a strip is a winner for me. Every yeah. time I play FIFA, that is my bespoke um, style of, of strip that I make. I love it. That is This one is, again, the body is... The, the, the colour and the, the arms, the sleeves are the black again. And then the, the kind of pattern across the, the chest with the badge. And um, I can't make out what the actual um, the make of the... O'Neill's. The O'Neill's. Is. O'Neill's um, yeah. Sorry, it says yeah. O'Neill's. Um, yeah, that is where the black kind of streak goes across. Kind of alluding to the kind of tyre mark style paint strip look again. But yeah, that combination of colour. The sponsor though on the way top is very low down. I mean, if it's tyres, uh, for me, both of those are a car crash, to be honest. I'm not a fan <laughs> of either of those. But, um, yeah, I mean, each to their own, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, moving on then, Dundee United uh, actually just dropped their away kit today, which is a nod to the Dundee Hibernian roots of the club. So it's Beautiful. a green away, oh, away kit with a, with a kind of like uh, a, a V uh, shape. Um, Do you on, like this, Craig? View. I love them both. I think they're oh. a new manufacturer. They've come in and done... I think that's a historical show. So are we, are we going to disagree again? Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Completely that, different taste. That weight off is... 
<laughs> home top, really? absolutely. The home, home top's great. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with the home top. Really, I actually quite like the collar as well. Um, mm. The away top. I, I feel like somebody's just stuck a random white, like V shape on a nice top, <laughs> and it's. I no, and it's also I I know it's from the roots, and I get all that. Yeah. It's not a color I associate with Dundee United these days. Um, it's not something I like. The last year they went for that kind of mint look, and it was mm. I loved that. This I I just it's not a color I associate with them, and I get that maybe just so many years have passed the, the, without them using it. Um, I just no, I I do you know even in just in general, I'm kind of getting a wee bit bored of clubs just doing alluding to the past and a nod yeah. to the, the I, I, I kit in such and such a year and it's such and such anniversary and it's kind of getting a wee bit repetitive and boring um this is no I'm, I'm not having this one sorry not the away kit home quite absolutely just <laughs> definitely not the away <laughs> Dunferman uh the the, all, the home kit and the, I really like the away kit because it, it feels just when you're talking about historical it feels a bit 90s like a big kind of wide collar and stuff it's a, the red kit as well it feels very early 90s the one that we have to mention though is the third kit for Dunfermline oh my goodness what is going on here um can you yeah. talk us through this one Craig um I mean where to begin yeah it's it feels like I'm in a bad nightclub I'm having a bad trip this one it's, it's not good is it it's um <laughs> You don't want to stare at it too long; it'll give you a headache, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So get, let me get this right: Have we have they changed the home shirt, the black and white stripes, or we just don't have that on screen? I just don't have that one on screen. Yeah. Ah, uh-huh, right. It's, okay. It's, it's, it's nice, but it was more just to to get through the yeah the other kits. The plethora of designs this year. Do you know? I'm wondering, <laughs> like, they always say on TV not to wear like certain patterns because it plays <laughs> up the cameras. I'm just wondering if they ever showed them Fermlin on TV was actually going to happen because that is not going to clash well with cameras. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not really that bothered no. about it either way. I don't really have a strong opinion on this one, but I'm quite interested to see how a camera copes with it. I just think it feels like it's a, the really bad homemade design of like one of those local radio stations in some yeah. part of America. <laughs> it's like, you're you're listening to KLM 95, the best tracks on the road. I'm just like, no, I, that, I'm not, mate. That looks dreadful. <laughs> what was it? Andrew described it as the bottom of a frying pan. Yes. Which I think is fair. It's like, Very yeah, somebody's accurate. left a hot frying pan on a blue top yeah. um, and it's not, it's not, it's not went well. Uh, Partick Thistle, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it, at least they've done something. This is going to divide opinion. I'm, <laughs> I'm torn. I'm torn. I've got to be honest. <laughs> what is going on here? Come on, Craig. Tell me you hate it. <laughs> I don't like these at all. I think actually O'Neill's have done a really good job the last few seasons of the stuff, you know, like retro aways, nice home shirts, but I think they've even messed up the home shirt on this one. Oh. It's they're all they're all bad, aren't they? They're all bad. No. Finn, Finn, where do you stand on this one? I I don't have any problems with the home top. I think I think it's cool and they've mixed up the design a little bit. I think it's quite smart. The away top is uh, uh just a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. <laughs> And uh, the, the two goalie tops, I'm uh, not a fan. So it's it's one out of four for me here for Partick Thistle. Oh, but they're the home, memorable. Home, you know? Home's fine. Home's, not, like, home's more of a Belgium top than anything else. Um, yeah. Not really offended. So it's like the, the black and the red and the yellow stripes. Um, like, it's fine. Don't have a problem with it. The away top. So the away top is pale pink and pale grey in hoops with grey shorts mm. and grey socks. I love this. Um, at, oh. Do you know when I first saw it when they played Dundee United on TV last week? I was a bit like, Ugh, mm-hmm. don't know, don't know. <laughs> and the further the game went on, the more and more I was like, yeah, I absolutely love that. And I got there and I was like, I, I, I just, I, I wish I was a Thistle fan now so I could just wear their top because I really, really <laughs> like that top. And then I saw the goalie strip and I'm like, oh my God, that is amazing as well. The, the two for me, the two, the goalie, the home goalie and away outfield strips are absolute winners for me. No, no. Swiftly <laughs> moving on. One one thing we need to one thing we do need to talk about here because there's a bit of a backstory to it. Wraith Rovers. So the home the home top I actually quite like. It's it's a Joma kit again, and it's got a bit of tartan detailing on the sleeve. It's got the classic kind of dark navy that that Wraith would have. It's a nice top. The away top to me seems quite plain. So it's it's yellow with like a sky blue trim. 
But the story behind it, did you, were you guys aware of the reason that they've gone for a yellow away kit this season? No, I saw like, there was like some tweet that made us all kind of go, what? Well, that's not a headline I was expecting. <laughs> what, what exactly was it, Finn? It was, so the thing was, it was one of those tweets where you read it and you're like, oh, it's an anniversary kit commemorating a hundred years since, since what? <laughs> so the story behind it we need to get a, a, a Wraith fan on at some point to talk us through the, the whole story behind this but apparently the yellow kit that Wraith have got as their away kit this season is to commemorate 100 years since the team were shipwrecked on their way to play a pre-season tournament in the Canary <laughs> Islands. I was like, what is going on here? How come we've never heard of this? So astonishing backstory, fairly mediocre kit, I've got to say, but um, mm. I just, I, I've never heard <laughs> of an anniversary kit about a, a disaster that's happened to a whole first team. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Also don't about tenuous we, links earlier. Yeah, do you know I also I mean? don't know how we've missed this as well as part of Scottish football history. This needs an exhibit now in the Scottish Football Museum at Hamden, doesn't it? We all clearly don't know enough about it. So, <laughs> yes, if I need to do something about this one. <laughs> um, a few highlights from, from League League One. I, I really wanted to pick out the Falkirk home top oh. because um, the, 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 the detailing on the sleeves is, is a throwback to the Beezer Homes kit that they had in the early 90s, which, again, just mm -hmm. massive fan of. But I also love mentioning it because... I still think they've got the best sponsor, shirt sponsor of any club in Scotland. And I'm delighted to see crunchycarrots.co.uk making a comeback again this season. That's good. We're grateful for their support of Scottish football, aren't we? <laughs> we absolutely are. Um, <laughs> Sponsorship uh, is available. <laughs> Thank you for the plug, Craig. That, that's very welcome. <laughs> can we have a quick word about the Queen of the South away top? Um, Laura, could you describe this to us, please, if you can? <laughs> <laughs> oh god this was this so it's a pale yellow to start with imagine a, a pale yellow top and then imagine you've got a kind of almost royal blue waistcoat you put it over the top and that waistcoat <laughs> has little white lined patterns straight down in kind of vertical lines and then you've got a huge sponsor across the front um and a kind of navy blue collar which i don't think is anywhere near the shade of the blue in the front of the strip mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that is quite a mishmash of a design. What is it? Do we know? Is it is it a special tribute to something, or is it something to do with the local area, or is it like know. a paisley print or something, or like a? I'm not too sure. I mean, their sponsors is Blinds by Mark McGowan, so maybe he's visually impaired and has kind of come up with uh, with this design. I, it looks like the kind of thing that somebody's wandered in, maybe like half cut to their nana's house and been like, that's a lovely pattern you've got on your curtains, nana. Can I borrow that? Yeah. It seems a way to it. So yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, absolutely hideous. I'm sorry. Andrew, even the yellow bit, bad. the yellow bit, the main part on the chest has also got sort of faded, like, white squares like white diamonds well they're kind of squares on a side mm. i don't know what the terminology for that is but like yeah ca carpet pattern i think is the word you're yeah for, exactly or, or, or. like that um i don't know what's going on here please somebody please explain this <laughs> i hope there's some sort of historical meaning behind this yeah terrible um i've not picked out much from from league two because they they're, they're all fine they're all much of a muchness the one i wanted to pick out though and it's a nice one to be ending on because i am such a big fan of this the dumbarton home top for this season oh craig what are your thoughts on this one it's a beauty isn't it it reminds me of that classic luton town one from the 70s with a vertical stripe and they've actually gone yes. with that this year their premier league season as well which is quite nice, nice. but i think macron has done an amazing job here as they did last season as well it's beautiful I think there's something yeah, in it I'm that, right, but... that makes me feel like it... <laughs> oh, I love it. I just think it's so smart. It, I think it's because of the shape of the 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 Dumbarton badge. It, mm. it, it looks uh, there's something Brazilian looking about this kit. I can't describe it any other way. I've got no grinding okay? for this, but to me, it looks like a 1970s like Santos kit. Basically, it looks like Pele would wear this Dumbarton home top. Wow! And I, I yeah. think. Any kit that makes you think that is a good top in my book. <laughs> <laughs> what a note to end on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>